Once we do that, keep in mind that we're going to have to reach out. And if they are from out of town, it's going to take some time to locate those families. Is there another so our family unification process, uh, our family center process, um, is very narrow at this point. So, so we, we is there another suspect in custody? There is not another suspect in custody. There's only one suspect in custody. Is there a reason to ask for the fire rescue nearby doing some training? They were getting put through the safety trial. Is that? Yeah, I, they were. They were close by doing some uh, elevator work, I believe. Um, they've been in this building, and uh, we're able to respond, respond quickly. And, and again, hats off to them for their tremendous response and, uh, you know, the courage they show uh, day in and day out in particular today. Do you have harder video other than what we've been seeing circulating in the media where you've kind of seen the game being played and in the corner two people playing the game? Is there other video that you have access to? So uh, we won't talk about the other parts or pieces of evidence we have at this point in the game. Sarah, witnesses go be a question over at the football Park Center. So we may be wrapping that up uh, and we're very close to closing down witness and uh, you know, interviews and that type of thing. So there may be a few left. Sarah, will security measures increase after this? So that's a question that we will obviously delve into in the, in the coming days and weeks. Uh, and that's something that we'll be looking at. Were there cameras inside this restaurant where the shooting unfolded? Uh, there were cameras inside. Sure, he shot himself. The camera upset that we've lost them, but a lot of people are telling us. So again, we won't confirm any of the, uh, the motive at this point. It's still under investigation. Uh, so before we talk about that, we want to be sure. Can you confirm that the FBI and ATF in Baltimore are searching his home right now? So we are having, uh, there is some cooperation going on in Baltimore with ATF and FBI. He shot himself, Sheriff, inside that facility, inside that thing. He did. One more question. So that's all part of the uh, ongoing investigation that we're working on in conjunction with the Park Service. Yeah. Just one firearm was from this first year. Uh, one firearm was used in the event. Thank you, Sheriff. So, thank you. There are no news problems. That was Sheriff Mike Williams from Jacksonville as uh, we were learning more about a mass shooting that happened earlier this afternoon there at a video game tournament. He gave us some updated numbers, revising the number of people killed to three, including the shooter. Also learning nine others were shot and two more people were injured leaving the restaurant. I want to bring in Polo Sandoval, who's here with me, has been following the story from the very beginning. We also are learning more about the suspect, Polo. Really a wealth of information, even though this investigation is still in its preliminary stages here. The sheriff confirming the identity of the suspect, a 24-year-old man by the name of David Katz from yep. Baltimore, Maryland, according to investigators. Police believe that he was participating in this video game so tournament that was it's happening It's confirmed, there folks. It is indeed David Katz, as I wrote. Just now that he used at least uh, one handgun. The, um, the ATF is now involved in champion aspect, of course, of this Madden game player. So there we go. End up in, in, in this individual.